What's up, everybody? I'm Jordan Francis, and welcome to episode 19 of my cross country fun hunt, awesome road trip here in Charlottetown, PI. I touched it. So, after my great time in Hampton, New Brunswick, it was time to head over to Prince Edward Island. Even though PEI is small, you guys have stepped up and added some cool destinations. And two of them got my attention. The first one is from Lacey in Stratford. Let's check it out. There are lots of fun things to do across the island, but one of my favorites is the Eurobobble. A Eurobobble is basically this giant inflatable human hamster ball that goes on the water. That's pretty cool. But the main activity that stands out the most to me is going for a hot air balloon ride. I've actually never gone before, but it looks like so much fun. Another one is from Elizabeth and Crapo. This one is called Summer Camp Crapo PEI. Unfortunately, I don't have time to go to both destinations, so you know what we do at the CC Fun Hunt. Put it up for a vote. Wow, looks like Lacey and Stratford took this one, but a big shout out to Elizabeth and Crapo for stepping up. All right, Stratford, here we come. Let's give Lacey a little call. Hi. Hey, Lacey, this is Jordan Francis from the Cross Country Fun Hunt. Oh, hi. Congratulations. Thank you. What do we got planned today? Well, I guess we're gonna go for a hot air balloon ride first <laughs> and check out the Euro Bobble. Nice. I will see you soon, okay? Okay, see ya. Bye. Hot air balloon ride, that's awesome. As you guys probably know, Prince Edward Island is the smallest province in Canada. And tourists love PEI because a lot of the landscape and the houses look like they're straight out of a storybook. Hey, what's up? How's it going? What's up, everybody? Oh man, I'm super excited. I've never been in a hot air balloon before, so. Pretty excited. <laughs> it was really cool, even the process to get it started. You had to roll out this big balloon. Whoa, it's huge. Yeah, it's giant. <laughs> I had to hold up the balloon so that way this big vent to fill it with lots of air. Then we all got into this basket. It was pretty tight in there. It's tight. It's tight. Frank, the pilot, fired up the burners. The liftoff moment was incredible. Cross country fun hunt in a hot air balloon. That's so sick. The view from up there was incredible. All you could see is lots of fields, maritime houses historical buildings, farmland, it was great. Oh, it's so peaceful and quiet out here right now. Pretty cool. It's awesome. Frank the pilot, let me fire the burners myself. <laughs> Our hot air balloon landing was pretty much like a roller coaster. Bumped off the ground, and we bumped down again. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> then the basket tilted. <laughs> the girls were on top of each other like one big sandwich. It was hilarious. The fun part. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of their friends, Sarah, suggested... Go down to my dad's boat for a lobster tour. Yeah. Sailed out on the lobster boat. Got a beautiful view. So then we sailed on to some lobster traps. So then when we pulled up the lobster trap, we saw that there was one big red one there was another lobster that was blue, and apparently it's really rare. Oh my. <laughs> oh, so crazy. Uh, we do have one more trap. Uh, the next trap that we have, uh, it's got a surprise in it. What so I think have? you guys, uh, well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. And he 
holds up the last trap. Whoa! Whoa. This thing is huge! No, -uh, I'm not Whoa. holding it. And it was the biggest lobster I ever seen. This is Larry, guys. He's nine pounds and he's about 30 years old. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, there we go. <laughs> so then we sailed back to shore and the girls were really excited to show me something that they love to do, which is the Euro Bobble. Let's go check it out. So then you go into this plastic bubble, they fill it up with air, and then they put you in a pool. So you're basically like a human hamster. <laughs> Fun part is just wiping out and falling all over the place. <laughs> Come on, bubble. Come on, space. It was kind of hot, but yeah, it was fun. Then we went over to Lacey and Celia's house. Lacey decided to show me a little bit of step dancing. Here's a pretty basic step. <laughs> Learning the steps was pretty cool. Oh, that was good. <laughs> so I found out that Celia, Lacey's older sister, had this program called Celtic Kids. Um, well, actually, it's a show. Celia started it six years ago. You yeah. started your own show? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. It's yeah. So then we headed down to the old port where Lacey and Celia had their last performance for the season. I'd like to welcome you to our very last Celtic Kids show of the summer. Today, for everyone that's here, you're in for a special treat. Earlier today I taught Jordan a bit of step dancing. He caught on really quickly. He's amazing. So to start off the show, I'm going to do a step dance for you. so much Lacey <laughs> for showing me such a it great so, time. Yeah, so Alright guys, I still have a few more stops to go, so make sure you check out the Fun Hunt website on a day to day. Also, tell your friends about it, make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Fun Hunt van right there. Alright guys, so once again, unfortunately I couldn't cram all this amazing footage into one webisode, so you're going to have to tune in real soon in the fall for the Cross Country Fun Hunt TV show on CBC. Come on. P.E.I. in the building. How you feeling? I'm chilling. All right, guys. It's your boy Jordan Francis signing off here in P.E.I. I'll see y'all next time on the Cross Country Fun Hunt. <laughs>